This would have never happened under President Donald J. Trump. Republican lawmakers and conservative media are doing some hilarious backpedaling as President Biden follows through on Trump's decision to withdraw the U.S. from Afghanistan. Now, I have several examples here. It is just the this bathing in hypocrisy that we expect from Republicans that, of course, once again, is on full display here. Now, before I get to any of these examples, I just want to show you uh, Biden recently did this speech saying, I know my decision will be criticized, but I would rather take all that criticism than pass this decision on to yet another president. He is doing the right thing here. So I have a larger breakdown on what's going on in Afghanistan that I already put up today. So I'll link to that above the video or you can just check the, the site. You'll see it. But um. This is is the right decision. Right now, the focus needs to be on resettling refugees. But let's get to some of what's been going on. So I think this is the perfect place to start. This clip from Donald Trump on June 26, 2021. Here he is taking full credit for the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Afghanistan. By the way, I started the process. All the troops are coming back home. They couldn't stop the press. 21 years is enough, don't we think? 21 years. They couldn't stop the process. They wanted to, but it was very tough to stop the process. The only way they last is if we're there. What are we going to say? We'll stay for another 21 years, then we'll stay for another 50. The whole thing is ridiculous. All right. There is Donald Trump taking full credit at the end of June, less than two months ago. Yet he is uh, saying something very different today. This from Vice. In a statement, Trump said Biden's move to withdraw troops, quote, will go down as one of the greatest defeats in American history. What Trump did not mention is that he had also planned to withdraw from Afghanistan by May 1st if he had won re-election. In one April statement, Trump said he wished Biden wouldn't use September 11th as the date to withdraw our troops because, according to Trump, we can and should get out earlier. <laughs> so not only was it Trump's plan, his plan was actually to get out earlier. But now, total, uh, one of the greatest defeats in American history. Now, let's go to the party as a whole. The, from Hugo Lowell here. The Republican Party has removed a page from their website bragging about Trump's deal with the Taliban that, that committed Biden to withdraw 5,000 U.S. troops from Afghanistan and led to the fall of Kabul today. So he, th I mean, he. The, the party here has now removed this, this web page, which you can find online, that said, quote, President Trump has continued to take the lead in peace talks as he signed a historic peace agreement with the Taliban in Afghanistan. So the GOP praising this historic agreement, they have now deleted that page. You can find it on the web archive and uh, go through the details of it here. So right here, if you scroll down, you'll see all the statements. This has now been deleted. All right, let's go to now the next one. This is Fox News. So they had on Kaylee McEnany and uh, watch this. Kaylee, this is not how the last president left the situation. No. But it has taken us 20 years to get to this point of whatever the decisions were that delivered us, no end game. Those Gold Star families need what Lieutenant Colonel Davis just told me. They need accountability. Yeah. They need that for their own closure. Um, but without all of that, it would have been nice just to get our people back quickly. Yes. In instead, this is protracted. Yeah. Like those, those flights are suspended. Yep. And we don't know who's coming onto that tarmac now. Yes. Let me be categorical in saying this. This would have never happened under President Donald J. Trump. Former Trump press secretary. Knows. She knows. This was Trump's plan. But no would not have happened under Donald Trump, even though he signed the deal to leave, even though he wanted to get out earlier than Joe Biden, not have happened under Donald Trump. It is so obviously dishonest, just blatant out there, and they don't care. They'll make the they'll make these points, despite the fact that they sound completely ridiculous. But uh, I saw this point that I want to share from uh, Murtaza Hussein that said, Trump had clearly come to the same conclusion about Afghanistan as Biden, but he was too much of a craven coward to face the consequences of actually tearing the Band-Aid off and what that would look like. Great point here. So while Biden and Trump both agreed about leaving uh, to leaving Afghanistan, Biden actually did it. He actually followed through. 
Trump did not want to do that while he was still in office and clearly was afraid of what is happening right now and how that looks, even though it is the right decision to leave Afghanistan. But um, yeah, clearly uh, Biden did what Trump was not able to do. Now, let's get to Lauren Boebert, Republican Congresswoman here in February this year. She tweeted out, we've been in Afghanistan for more than half my life. We need to end the endless wars. End the endless wars. Well, what is she saying today? This is uh, August 15th, 2021. Joe Biden was in the Senate when America pulled out of Saigon in 1975. He didn't learn. (laughs) So February, February. Oh, it's a great thing. Yes, need to end the endless wars. Need to get out of Afghanistan. And now that Biden's doing it, Biden simply didn't learn from history. He should have stayed in. Un- unbelievable. All right. Uh, I'm not going to play this clip, but just I just want to show you who Fox News is having on. So I showed you Kaylee McEnany. But they're also having on former Bush staffers like uh, Bush White House Deputy Chief of Staff uh, Carl Rove here discussing uh, putting all the blame on Joe Biden. With, they're the ones that started the war. They're the ones that invaded unbelievable i just don't i don't i don't get it i don't get how people uh can still be in support of dipshits like this it really is uh, remarkable now this is just laugh out loud stupid so media matters here posting sean hannah uses fall of afghanistan to sell cell phones (laughs) so i'm gonna play this clip it is ridiculous all right, 800-941-SEAN is our number. You want to be a part of the program. Listen, there is a stampede, not only out of Afghanistan, but a stampede away from high prices, overpriced service from the big carriers like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, the average family making the switch to Pure Talk. This is just crazy. And you know what? I think this shows you why or or how a lot of these lawmakers and media figures are able to do this complete reversal on this issue. It's because they have no real connection to any of this. They have no real connection to to the people on the ground, to the actual lives being impacted. They really ultimately don't care. It's about being, for them, being on television. It's about making money. So this transition from discussing Afghanistan and what's going on there to talking about the 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 stampede away from high prices i it is it it's just a a perfect encapsulation of the disconnect that the media has with what is going on there and ultimately with politics or or the impact on people in general last thing here there is a petition from moveon.org president biden must support the most vulnerable in afghanistan and lift refugee caps so I will link to this below the video. This, as I said earlier, is the thing to focus on right now, is resettling the people that have been caught in the middle that want to leave Afghanistan, that have been impacted by the U.S. being there for for 20 years. So support this, and uh, let's hope countries like uh, the U.S., Canada, and other allies take in as many refugees as possible to at least mitigate the damage that is going on there in, in terms of the impact on the civilian population.